What is going on, nerds and nerdettes? It's me, Stevie B. Camped out on the back patio here at the house. Doing a little variant content for you. And, oh, the wind's picking up. Yeah. Um, this is an eBay purchase I got. A um, little backstory on this. Um, you might remember my my one of my previous variant content videos where I um, I picked up uh, the entire run of Marvel's the Alex Ross series and I had mentioned in there that Marvel's was the definitive Alex Ross uh, work and so Tim the comic collector jumped in the chat or jumped in the comments and he says I had disagree he said Marvel's was not the, the definitive Alex Ross and he suggested that these are nicely packed by the way props he suggested another series that was the definitive Alex Ross collection or series and and of course after he mentioned it I was like Oh shit, I completely forgot about that. And honestly, Jim, I couldn't argue with you, man. Couldn't argue with you a bit. And I'm running, I'm running my cake hole and trying to, you know, time this to where I get through my rambling just in time to get to the books. And he's got them all wrapped up in newspapers in here too. So there we go. But anyway, so you're going, Stevie B, what are you rambling on about? What series are you talking about? Well, I am talking about justice. So damn you, Tim, and your big mouth. You had to, you had to go and remind me that that there was another, possibly even better, series that Alex Ross did, and that was Justice. So I went on eBay, and let me know in the comments. Think I got a good deal? I think I got a good deal. Paid 12 bucks plus 5.95 shipped, so you know 18 bucks, let's say. And I picked up the entire run of Justice, and these are immaculate so far. Number one, immaculate condition. But I dig that artwork. It was sick. So, Tim, you got me, man. You, you got me. So, I had to do it. And then we got, of course, number two. And number three. Man, these covers are just fire. They are fire. And the brilliant part about it is and these are in amazing condition. These are immaculate props, props. Who sent these to me? Thomas Smith out of Beaverton, Oregon. You did me right, man. You did me right. But here's number four, and that's just stupid good. The artwork on that is just disgusting. That is disgusting. It is so good. And Justice number five, Wonder Woman on the cover. Man. And who's that ripping through the cover? Is that Cheetah? I believe that's, that's yeah, that's, I think that's Cheetah ripping through the cover. Man, I'm going to read these again. I read them back in the 90s. Or was it the 90s or maybe, no, it was 2000s. This was uh, 2006. Yeah, it's right on there. Yeah. But I'm going to read. I may not have actually read these. I think I have. I can't remember. I'm old. Fuck, I'm old. So I can't remember shit. But here's number six. And is that Poison Ivy on the front? I believe. In the Atom. Nice. Ooh, nice. Even, 
I mean, Alex Ross can even make Hawkman look cool. And that's hard to do. It really is. <laughs> there you go. Something to roast me in the comments about. Dude, man, Hawkman's awesome. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> but that's cool. Oh, and I love this. Captain Cold and the Flash. Oh, man. I don't care who you are. If you don't think Alex Ross is one of the best artists on the planet, we, we can't be friends. <laughs> but that is so... That is just gross, man. It's so sick. Oh, nice. Black Adam and Shazam. Mary Marvel. And I don't know who the other one who the other one of the Marvel family kids is, but I know Mary Marvel, Black Adam, and Shazam. Y'all can, y'all encyclopedias out there can tell me who that one is, but damn, these are just disgusting. And man, these are in excellent condition. These things are mint, man. These, these are nine eights all day long. <clears throat> all right. Black Canary. And the Green Arrow cover, number 10. Curious to know y'all's thoughts on this. Is this the definitive Alex Ross series, or would you say Marvel's is? Green Lantern and Sinestro. There you go, foo. Tell me, tell me nobody draws Green Lantern better than Alex Ross. Come on. That's, I mean... He's just ugly good. And number 12, the final piece. Zatanna, Red Tornado. He even made Plastic Man look 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 cool, kind of, almost. But Plastic Man on the cover. Um, 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 Metamorpho. Robin. But, yeah, this is pretty cool. I even see reverse flash way back there in the background. But man, so these are sick. I cannot wait. I'm going to dive into this right after the video and I'm going to read these again. Maybe again, we'll say again for the first time because these are awesome. So again, Thomas Smith, Beaverton, Oregon. Thank you, man. You packed these really well. They're in excellent condition. You are a top-notch eBayer. You did not disappoint, my friend. And for $12 plus six bucks shipped, and for 18 bucks for all these, I think that was a, I think that was a steal. So I'm stoked about it. But if let me know what you think in the comments. Um, smash that like button. If you ain't subscribed. What are you doing here? Subscribe, man. And I'm going to start doing this on every every video. I am going to shout out a, uh, a fellow YouTuber. And so today's shout out goes out to ThunderGod75. Kevin, you the man. Um, check us out. We're going to... I'm I'm supposed to... Have been We've been doing these now for supposedly three weeks but but things have gotten crazy for Stevie B with a big move some little life changes so life happened and I've had to tap out on the last two weeks but well I'll be back uh, Saturday on uh, Thunder God 75 channel check him out I will drop a link in the description um, check us out Saturday nights at 8 o'clock Central, I believe. <laughs> but I'll be on there this Saturday. Sub up to Kevin. Good good guy. Man's an encyclopedia of knowledge, man. He, he knows shit. He knows a lot of shit. He's going to make me look really stupid on the show. You don't want to miss that. Any chance for to make Stevie B look stupid, you, you got to watch it. But that's going to do it for this video. Check out the new shirt. Comic Cleaver finally got his own logo on a t-shirt. And, of course, the Stevie B logo is on the back, but I'm not going to model it for you. Take my word for it. That being said, that's going to put an end to some variant content. Those are my books. Hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Again, like, subscribe. Hit that bell because you don't want to miss this shit. This is good shit. And we'll see you on the next video.
Peace.